We need a lot of uh, therapists like uh, caregivers or therapists, two or three for a one uh, patient to walk. But robotic therapy, we just need one therapist therapy. So there's a very big uh, difference between uh, conventional therapy and robotic therapy. Uh, I heard that the, if I expect the, the effect of the therapy, we should take a step for about at least 2,000 steps, but we can't. The therapist can't, but robot can uh, take a step for about 2,000 steps uh, a day. So there's a very big difference between two. Um, I think uh, robotic therapy is really more motivated to the patient. Actually, at the first time when I started to this robot therapy, many um, patients, uh, especially older patients, they think this is really childish. But these days, they heard the sound and the feedback so they feel really funny and uh, really helpful and they got uh, motivated a lot um, more than conventional therapy. We got the first uh, locomed, uh, the model's name is V5. At the very first time the locomed is very very new equipment in Korea so most of Koreans are up here uh, were uh, afraid of using locomet because of the uh, they I think they are afraid of the heart but after using or after using the locomet uh, they realized that the locomet robotic devices are very safe and effective after that they enjoyed it really afraid of this uh, technology and this device at first time but I using this uh, device during six months and then I realized this is really effective to the patient to improve functional movement so I believe this and then I try to encourage my patient to improve their engagement yeah